Our hymn is number 218 in your Lumen Christi hymnals. Number 216. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Earth's mighty Maker, whose command raised from the sea the solid land, and drove each billowy heap away, and made the earth stand firm for us. That so with flowers of golden hue, the seeds of each it might renew, and fruit trees bearing fruit might yield, and pleasant pasture of the field. Our spirit's rankling wounds efface With dewy freshness of thy grace That grief might cleanse each need of ill And o'er each lust may triumph still Let every soul thy law obey And keep from every evil way Rejoice each promise good to win and flee from every mortal sin. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee do live and reign eternally. Amen. who descended is he who ascended far above all the heavens <clears throat> hallelujah praise O servants of the Lord praise the name of the Lord 
May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who is risen on high to his throne? He has stooped from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from the dung heap he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes. Yes, with the princes of his equal. To the childless wife he gives a home and gladdens her heart with children. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to To God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus who descended is he who ascended far above all the heavens. (coughs) Invoke the name of the Lord. Wait for the day of his coming. Hallelujah! I love the Lord, for he has heard the cry of my appeal. For he turned his ear to me in the day when I called him. They surrounded me, the snares of death, with the anguish of the tomb. They caught me sorrow and distress. I called on the Lord's name. O Lord my God, deliver me. How gracious is the Lord and just. Our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts. I was helpless, so he saved me. Turn back, my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has been good. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord, in the land of the living. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Invoke the name of the Lord, wait for the day of His coming. If God is for us, who is against us? The Lord is my light and my help, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, before whom shall I shrink? When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. There is one thing I ask of the Lord for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of his tent, 
On a rock he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me. And I shall offer within his tent the sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart is spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my help. Though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way, on an event that lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemy's greed. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hope for him, and take heart, hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. God is for us, who is against us. <coughs> Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Alleluia, alleluia. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things, by your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches. Wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Alleluia, alleluia. <coughs> From the first letter of St. John. See what love the Father has bestowed on us in letting us be called children of God. Yet that is what we are. The reason the world does not recognize us is that it never recognized the Son. Dearly beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall later be has not yet come to light. We know that when it comes to light, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. Everyone who has this hope based on Him keeps himself pure as He is pure.
mode 8. Dum venerit filius hominis, ut as in veniet videm super terra. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Unveneriit filius hominis, ut as in veniet fidem super terra. Let us praise Christ the Lord who lives among us, the people he redeemed, and let us say, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, King and Ruler of nations, be with all your people and their governments. Inspire them to pursue the good of all according to your law. You made captive our captivity to our brothers who are enduring bodily or spiritual chains. Grant the freedom of the sons of God. May our young people be concerned with remaining blameless in your sight. And may they generously follow your call. Kyrie eleison. May our children imitate your example and grow in wisdom and grace. Kyrie eleison. We pray for all of our benefactors at SJI and for the work going on at the house for general chapter for those who are sick for Paul Barrett for the operating of the Holy Spirit over the master class I'm running tomorrow for the participants for Scott had a procedure today for um, Mrs. Art's mom who's fallen ill and for all those who have asked for her Accept our dead brothers and sisters into your eternal kingdom, where we hope to reign with you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, who are rich in mercy and who will that St. John Paul II should preside as Pope over, all you, over your universal Church, grant we pray that, instructed by his teaching, we may open our hearts to the saving grace of Christ, the sole Redeemer of mankind, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of October 23rd. At Villach, in what was once Yugoslavia at the year of the Lord 1456, the heavenly birth of St. John of Capistrano, having entered the Order of Friars Minor after the death of his young wife, this former magistrate of per Perugia placed himself at the school of St. Bernardine of Siena. By his missions throughout Europe, he helped reestablish unity in a divided church and preserve Christianity threatened by Islam. In Syria, the year of grace 877, St. Ignatius, son of the emperor Michael II, Rangabe. He became a monk at 14 and later was nominated abbot. He founded three monasteries, promoted to the position of patriarch of Antioch at around the age of 50. He worked toward an agreement between the churches of the East and the West. At Manteau in Italy, in 1249, the return to God of St. John the Good. Having led a frivolous life, he converted after having recovered from a grave illness. He then retired to a hermitage. His renown for sanctity attracted so many disciples that he was obliged to found several monasteries. At then, in 1890, blessed Arnold Pesch, a brother of the Christian schools. After 14 years of teaching, he was novice master for the next 39 years until his death. While beatifying him in 1987, St. Pope John Paul II hailed him as a pure heart to whom it had been granted to see God. The Pope also presented him as a model for Christian teachers. Elsewhere, they had the birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. 